Hey everyone, welcome. Today's video is all about making sure you never get lost even without internet connection. And the best part, the solution is completely free. I am talking about Here We Go app, an alternative application to Google Maps. This application lets you download maps so that you can use it for navigation even where you don't have internet connection. So without further ado, let's jump in and I'll show you how it works. Tap on Here We Go app. Right here, you, you will have your current location. And down here, you have more options. If you tap here on this gray area once, it will minimize. If you tap again, it will expand to show you more settings. Let's tap again to minimize. So right here, in this main area, you have this green dot that shows you your current location. For some reason, if you don't see this dot, click on this option right here below and it will take you to your current location. So let's say, for example, you can see your current location. For you to quickly see your current location, you just have to click here on this icon and it will take you to the current location. So right now, this is my current location. If you click on this option here, where you see these two layers, this gives you ability to change your base map. So let's click here, you see that the default base map is selected. If you change, it will also change to show you in your map the satellite image of your current location. Now let's go back to switch to the default base map. Click there and click on default. You see the base map change. Let's click on this to close it. This video is not a guide on how to use Here We Go app. Today, we are just going to focus on downloading maps so that you can use it for navigation offline. If you want to see a full tutorial on how to use Here We Go app, leave your request in the comment section. If many people request that, I will definitely do a full tutorial on how to use Here We Go app. Since you are here, don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get back to the video. Tap on this gray area at the bottom. It will bring you more options. Right here, you have offline map settings. Below, you can see that you can use this app offline or online. If you toggle this on, your app will be in offline mode. If you toggle it off, it will go back to online mode. In this case, or often in my case, this app is on online mode. And below you have your downloaded maps. You can see here the number one, which shows you the number of maps that I have downloaded. In this case, I just have one map. For us to download, let's click here. It will take us to this page of downloaded maps. So right here, you have your available storage on your phone. And then down here, you have the option to download maps only when you are connected to a Wi-Fi network. In this case, mine is switched off. Down here below, you have your downloaded maps. In this case, I have just one map. For us to download the map, let's click on download maps. So it will take us to these uh, regions of the world. Depending on the maps that you want to download, you have to select in which region that country is. In my case, I'm going to select a country that is in Africa. I'm going to click here and the country that I want to download is Mozambique. This is the country we are coming from. So I'm going to scroll down to find Mozambique. So Mozambique is right here. And right here below the name Mozambique, you can see the size of the map. If that's okay with you, click on this icon to download the map. When the download starts, you will also be able to see the progress, right? You can see here. While this is downloading, let's click on this arrow to go back and then click again to go back. And you can also see right here under this section that the download the map is being downloaded and you, at this side you can see the progress of your download. Let's wait a few minutes and we'll come back when the download is finished. A little longer than a few minutes later. The download has finished. Now what we're going to do is click on this X to go out of this page. And you can see down here that now I have two maps downloaded. I'm gonna click here to minimize these options. So we have downloaded a map from Mozambique. 
what I'm going to do now is put this phone offline. I'm not going to use this option. I will go to put all the settings from this phone offline. So that means I'm going to switch off here, switch off here, switch off here. And now my phone is completely offline. Now let's make a search for Mozambique. Let's tap here and write Mozambique. And then click enter what I notice is that if this is the first time you are doing that you'll get this result that there's no information about Mozambique connect to a Wi-Fi so what we're going to do is try again actually we have to repeat this three to four times and then you'll get information that's it it worked this time so now we have Mozambique here so you can see that the map changed from where we were to Mozambique and right here you can actually do pretty much everything you do with your Google map you can um, let's say get directions from your location to Mozambique but this will be difficult because you should have maps from all other countries and you probably will come with no result we know that we are in Mozambique so let's do a quick search here to Beira let's click here once again if this is your first time you downloaded the map you did not use it and you are just on the place you wanted to go and you're trying to google getting some direction it will take you quite some time let's say less than two minutes but you get your results so in this case I have here uh, beta option I'm gonna click there and yeah it's correct so everyone this is the here we go app showing you that this app actually works offline even though if this is the first time like downloading the app uh, it will take you quite some time if you don't have internet connection after you download but the app really works so what I recommend you to do after you download the app is get some directions from the place you want to go so that by the time you get to the place when you try to do some search it doesn't take that long to find the place that you're looking for remember that option that I showed you at the beginning of the video we are going to use it now so if you click on this icon here it will take you to your current location well everyone I hope this video was helpful to you if it was Give it a like, share it, and don't forget, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.